and that we're up and running, up and running once again. Well, we're. Our report today will be done on a lift driving report. Good morning, everyone. It's in the car seat, that guy, Terry Dwayne Ashford, and we do not bring a whole lot for you today from Street Now News. What we do bring you though is a, uh, the composure of a new beat by the car seat, that guy, Terry Dwayne Ashford, that we have called Rise and Fall. Uh, that particular new beat will be used as background music for many of his um, his um, productions. In addition to that, we also did a video, uh, produced a video for you today. That video... Good morning, it's Terry Dwayne Ashford, and we are reporting for you this morning that we're up and running up and running and now we're gonna get uh, right into the report uh, we're gonna do that for you today and uh, it's a, com a combined report three different um, reports done by in the car seat that guy terry dwayne ashford we're gonna get right to it for you right now Again, well, we're reporting this for you through Street Now News uh, and also Blabber News on broadcast because it's very important that you see that uh, you can't beat those who are winners, born to be winners. You can't take the lies with those who are born to be winners because uh, winning procedures, winning life strategies has been provided through na natural or nature for those people. So that's what we're reflecting for you this morning. You're listening to Ed the Car. See that guy, Terry Dwayne Ashford. Comes one day after the stolen phone from the CVS employee, where the end of the car, see that guy, simply entered the store to make purchases, walked out with the with this equipment stolen. One day after that, the phone has been replaced. Two days afterwards, today. We are reporting it for you, showing you the agility and the sustainability of those who are born to be winners. I'm Terry Dwayne Ashford, and I am an Ashford. Blabber News on broadcast through that GTV. In addition to this particular report of sustainability and agility of those who were born to be winners, we also show that we won through a report done with that replacement equipment uh, that particular report was done from that GTV uh, and uh, aired and uh, aired a story on yesterday a story that will lead to discussions today a Lyft driver tried to put out a female rider before they reached the destination and was met with drama we have our views on that we're detailing that in the report. This particular report comes to you from uh, the a report, a news agency report uh, that uh, aired the problem, uh, the issue. Uh, in the Argonian news newspaper. We gathered that information and we decided that we want to talk about that. In lieu of all of the Ubers and Lyft drivers. Now... We're dealing with people who are many times not as different beliefs. You're not sure if there's any training at all on customer service. When you're dealing with customers, you're dealing with a diversity of personalities and attitude. How do you deal with that? We understand that the Lyft drivers and the Uber drivers may not be trained in that. Well, in this particular case, the Lyft driver got mad when the customer didn't want the window down while the customer was the paying customer. 
The customer didn't want the window down. That's just one of the incidents, one of the uh, issues that sparked the incident. The customer did not want the window down, and uh, their Lyft driver did. Well, who's, who's to win here? We have a driver, and we have a rider, and we have a payer, and we have someone who receives the payment. In the end, the Lyft driver, figuring because he was the driver and figuring because he was driving the car that they were in, he was going to put her out. Police was called, and we leave it for you to read the rest of the story. It's attached to this particular article. Click the links. The story was done out of Portland, Oregon. This particular story was brought to you by that GTV and in the car seat that guy, Terry Dwayne Ashford. It is a reflection of sustainability and agility through the phone and through the replacement equipment that was used to create this discussion and this particular broadcast. Yeah, we received, uh, we encountered similar actions. And in this particular case, (laughs) the phone, we have proof that the phone that you stole was replaced within hours. I'm Terry Dwayne Ashford in the car. See that guy? We want you to click the link. Click the link within the narrative of this broadcast and read the story for yourself. Blabber News on broadcast. This particular reporting and that particular story is a reflection of bullying activity. Bullies. Yes, bullies. Bullies that assume that size and um, the appearance of strength is going to guide them through abuse and abusive behavior of other people. We're showing you in this reporting and also in the female's agility in this case. But to be strong doesn't mean you can go out and you can do whatever you want to do. And relying on what appears to be strength, what appears to be aggression, may not get you anywhere. Exactly what happened with this Lyft with this lift driver, and also exactly what happened with the attacks on the end of the car. See that guy, Terry Dwayne Ashford, get you nowhere. Unless the other person, or the smaller person, believes you are as strong as you thought you were. I pray to make it back if he doesn't believe that, we might have a problem. Yeah, Nicole, see that guy, Street Now News reports. And Bobby News on broadcast. We ask that you click the link within this narrative. Click the link within this narrative and read huh, the story for yourself. I'm Terry Dwayne Ashford. We're closing out this morning. Have a wonderful day. I'm Terry Dwayne Nash for Blabber News on Broadcast. This report is brought to you by In the Car. See that guy, Terry Dwayne Ashford. The Oregon referred to. Uh, oh, oh, let me unlock the bell, baby. I'm 
This particular report is brought to you by the Indy Car. See that guy, Terry Dwayne Nashville, for Bladder News on broadcast. We're in live right now for a year. This report is brought to you by In the Car. See that guy, Terry Dwayne Ashford. 7.53 p.m. And tonight's November 10th, and I'm Terry Dwayne Ashford. That GTV. We're going to do a poll tonight. We're going to talk about uh, a few things here. It kind of bothered me when I read this story about a Lyft driver putting a lady out uh, at a gas station before she arrived at her destination because of some service issues that the... The driver just didn't like. Well, can you do something like that? Now, when you decide to jump into some business, you need to understand that you're dealing with the public. And what the public needs to understand when they're dealing with the Lyft drivers and Uber drivers is that some of these people aren't trained in customer service. So you might get something like what you got in this news story. I want you to click the link of uh, the story that we've placed in the narrative of the broadcast. And we want you to think about this. Can a Lyft or Uber driver or something like that, knowing now that they're not very customer service oriented and trained, can they get mad at a customer in the back seat and say, well, we don't want your money and put them out in the middle of nowhere? What do you think? This was a lady here. We ain't taking no sides here, no woman, no man, no black, white, no Asian, Chinese, we ain't, we're not looking at none of that stuff. We're looking at what the business state here. We have a problem when you're, uh, when something like that can happen. When something like that can happen, it makes it hard for you to even want to uh, <laughs> do business with any of those, uh, that type of business person. Well, guys, we're going to limit this particular show as part one for today. Blabber News on broadcast. I'm Terry Dwayne Ashford, and this particular show will be limited to 15 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and cut it short right now so we can move right on into part two. Blabber News on broadcast today. I'm Terry Dwayne Ashford. We are reporting on you, on uh, on a Lyft driver that attempted to put uh, a lady out in the middle of nowhere. In addition to that, we are combining uh, a uh, this particular report with uh, other reports done by in the car seat that guy Terry Dwayne Ashford himself. Uh, those particular reports are broadcast today on Blabber News on broadcast <laughs> in two segment report, a two segment report. This is part one. We're going to close that one out right now so we can move right on into part two. Enjoy.